Hey there, it's Mr. Brown. I need you to help me with a problem we've got here. So here I am in SketchUp playing in my SketchUp world, playing around with my little toy boat, and I notice there's a big problem. I see a whole bunch of rocks here. I see a whole bunch of debris everywhere. Something must have happened. What happened here? So let's look around, and I notice there's a lot of debris. Oh no, it looks like a bridge fell. We gotta fix that. Well, it's lucky enough that we know all about bridges now. So let's fix it and make some good bridges for this road right here to solve this problem, all right? So we're gonna use the engineering design process that we've learned so far. And we're going to create an excellent bridge for this problem we have right here. So, in the engineering design process, as we know, our first step is to ask our problem. Well, obviously, the problem is the bridge fell right here. We need to make a new bridge. So then we need to research how to make a new bridge. We've done that. We know how to make a good bridge. We know that we're going to make a truss bridge for this design right here. Because a truss bridge, the one with all the triangles, is very strong, very reliable, an excellent opportunity to use that right here for us. So we're going to create a truss bridge. Next we're going to come up with some possible solutions. That's what we're doing today is we're going to come up with some possible design solutions for our bridge right here. Going back in the design process we need to then further define our problem. How long do we need to make our bridge? How tall do we need to make our bridge? All of our specifications, all those important bits of information and numbers that we need. So let's take a look at our SketchUp file right here, and let's figure out what we need to do for our bridge. So I'm just gonna jot down some numbers, get all of our information. I've got some markers here, I've got some scrap paper, and I'm gonna get some information that I need from SketchUp to make this bridge right here so we can come up with some solutions. All right, so in SketchUp, first of all, we don't need this rubble here, all these rocks. Let's get rid of these rocks and let's pull out our tape measure tool right here. So with our tape measure, this works just like a tape measure in real life. So if I have my tape measure, click it once, move your mouse, click it again, take the reading, right? So in SketchUp, I'm going to get my tape measure button. I'm gonna, let's see first how tall this bridge is. Click it once, move it around, click it twice, and it will tell me, if you saw right there, it'll tell you right there, 25 feet, but also in that bottom corner there, the bottom right corner, remember down here is where you find a lot of information as well. So on my piece of paper, I'm gonna jot down just some of these numbers just in case I need them. First, let's just draw our bridge. All right, so this is one side, this is the water in between, this is the other side, it goes that way. All right, that's the ground, those are my bridges. All right, so we're just jotting down some of these numbers that we might need. So the height of the bridge from the deck to the water is 25 feet. The width of our deck, using that tape measure tool, is also 25 feet. And then, very importantly, is our span right here. So from one side to the other, our span is... Look at that, that is exactly 100 feet. Alright, so we've got some information that we need here. So let's write that down. Our height. H E I G H T equals 25 feet. That might come in handy, it might not. Our width equals uh, do, do 25 feet also. And our span or our length. Length of span equals 100 feet. And this height right here, I should say that's height above 
water. All right. So that's our height above water right there. It's 25 feet. Now, I'm going to go to the city planner, and I'm going to say, hey, you want me to make you a bridge? I can do that, no problem. It's going to be 100 feet long. It's going to be 25 feet wide. How tall do you want me to make it? So how tall this way, above the deck, do you want it to be? And he says it can be anywhere. So height of bridge. He says it can be anywhere between 30 feet and 40 feet. That's what he tells us because there's lots of planes that fly by. We can't make it too tall. So looking at our numbers here. We've got our height of our bridge. It can be no more than 30 to 40 feet, which means no less than 30 because they want some support on there. No taller than 40, so the planes don't hit it. Our length has to be 100. Our width has to be 25. The height above water uh, doesn't really matter to us because if we're looking at our SketchUp drawing, um, all that means is that we can't go below 25 feet because otherwise you're going to be dipping down into the water there. So I'm just going to cross this out for now. We probably don't need that, but we've got 25, 100, and 30 to 40 feet. Those are important bits of information we need to know. So now I go to that city planner. I say, yeah, I can make you that bridge, no problem. He says, great. Give me three possible solutions. All right, so we need three possible solutions. He says, I need them at a one to 120 scale. And I need them to be truss bridges. And we say no problem because we know how to come up with solutions. We know what a 1 to 120 scale is, and we know what a truss bridge is. So we say, awesome, no problem, thumbs up. You, sign, you send me that check, I'll send you some bridge designs. And then we go home, and then we try to figure out, wait a second, now i got to actually come up with some bridge designs at a 1 to 120 scale. I don't know what that is. Let's figure this out. All right, so that is our problem, making a three bridge designs, from 1 to 120 scale, truss bridges. Excellent.